Okay, in this video, we'll take a look at some examples of how to find the integrals of bases other than e using this formula. Now, if you haven't done it yet, I would back up and watch part one of this series that shows where this formula came from. We actually derived the formula, and if you go through that, it'll make this part maybe make a little bit more sense. So the idea is this, that the integral of a to the u is equal to the natural log of the base times the original function plus c. So that's the formula that we've got to work with. And we'll look at a couple of examples. Some of them will require u substitution, and some of them won't. In the first example, it will not require u substitution, but let's take a look at that and see what it looks like. Okay, now the first one looks like this. You've got an integral of 6 raised to the x power dx. Now, once again, this is just a simple x, so you will not need u substitution. So this is actually about as simple as an example can get. And what the formula says is this. This will be equal to... And again, just go back to your formula and you just put it right in the formula. So the formula says it will be 1 over the natural log of the base times the original function, and then just tack on a plus c. So what that's going to look like, it would be 1 over the natural log of the base. So it looks like that. Then times the original function, which is 6 to the x, add on a plus c and you're done. So just in one step, you can get it done. So if it's not use substitution, it's just a matter of plugging it into the formula. Okay, now suppose this. Rather than having 6 to the x, suppose you had 6 raised to some power more complicated than just a simple x. Let's take a look at this one. So it will look something like this. Rather than 6 to the x, now we've got 6 raised to the negative 2x power. Now this is going to require use substitution. But we'll still use the same formula, but uh, we'll start out with use substitution on this one. <clears throat> so what you're going to have to do is, since this is more complicated than just a simple x, let's do u substitution first. So we'll let u be equal to negative 2x. We'll let u be equal to the exponent. So that means that the derivative of u with respect to x will be equal to a negative 2. <clears throat> now what I'm going to try to get rid of in my use substitution will be this right here. So this means that uh, the differential of u will be equal to negative 2 dx. Now there's the dx. I don't need the negative 2, so I'll move it over to this other side. So that gives me 1 half du is equal to dx. Well now this dx here matches up with this dx here, so there's my u substitution right there. And like always, we'll go ahead and isolate this with a little box here. So we'll put this in here. Again, what this is, this is the use substitution. <clears throat> so now let's write, rewrite the problem and see what it looks like here. This will change into the integral of 6 to the u power. And in place of dx, we'll put what dx is equal to, which would be minus 1 half du. Again, the minus one-half is a constant, so you can bring that out in front. So that becomes minus one-half the integral of 6 to the u du. So that's going to be minus one-half. Now at this point, you can go back to your formula and just to remind you of what that is. Um, it says <clears throat> it's 1 over the natural log of the base times the original function. So what we'll have, this will become, I think I'll put it in uh, parentheses here. This will become 1 over the natural log of the base times the original function, and then tack on a plus c. And you're almost finished. The only step left now is just to change u back into what it's equal to in terms of x. So the final answer would be minus one half of one over the natural log of the base times six raised to the in place of u, but minus two x plus c, and u would be done. So there's an example of u substitution. So just remember, whenever the exponent is anything other than a simple x, you've got to use u substitution on these problems. 
Okay, now the last one is going to be a little different uh, because you'll have to approach the problem a little differently on your u substitution. Now remember, on this example right here, you let u be equal to the exponent of the function. But let's take a look at this next example. Okay, now what you've got here is this one's going to look a little different, and you're going to have to be a little different in how you pick u. Now suppose you did this. If you tried to let u be equal to the exponent right here, um, the trouble is the derivative of u will not get rid of the other stuff in the problem. And on all u substitution problems, you always want to pick u so that its derivative gets rid of whatever part of the problem you're trying to eliminate. So let's look at some possibilities. If you let u be equal to 3x, the exponent up here, trouble is the derivative of 3x is 3. It doesn't get you anywhere. So suppose you decided to do this. Let u be equal to the entire exponential function, 6 raised to the 3x power, this one up here in the numerator. Now again, the trouble is the derivative of this one will not eliminate the denominator because you'll still have this 1 out in front. So the last choice would be this. Let u be equal to the entire denominator. Now that would be a good choice because the derivative of the denominator will get rid of the numerator and you can make that work. So with that in mind, we're going to rewrite the problem like this. We'll rewrite it as the integral of, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is this, is I'll put the line across here, is I'm going to take this 6 to the 3x power and move it off to the side. So that's going to give me 1 over 1 plus 6 to the 3x. And again, I'll take this 6 to the 3x and scoot it off the side here. So 6 to the 3x dx. So in my u substitution, this is what I'm going to try to get rid of. I've got to try to eliminate that. And by letting u be the denominator of this thing, that's actually going to work. So let's go ahead and, and go through the u substitution on this one. So what this means then is that I'm going to let u be equal to the denominator, 1 plus 6 to the 3x power. Now I want to find the derivative of that. So the derivative of u with respect to x will be equal to, now again, the derivative of a constant is 0, so that one's going to go to 0. But just a reminder on how to find the derivative of 6 to the 3x, and that's that three-part rule, so let's go back and take a look at this. So what the rule looks like would be this. If you want to find the derivative of a to the u, it's actually equal to three parts. It's the natural log of the base times the original function times the derivative of its exponent. So that derivative is going to consist of three parts. So with that in mind, let's go back and take a look at this again. <clears throat> so what this one's going to be, the derivative of this, now the rule says it's going to be this. It's going to be the natural log of the base times the original function times the derivative of the exponent, and the derivative of 3x would be 3. So again, that three-part rule right there is what this is right here. Natural log of the base, original function, derivative of the exponent. Okay, now you have to look back up at what you're trying to get rid of here. I need a 6 to the 3x dx, so I'll rewrite this as um, the derivative of u would be equal to, and I think I'll take... Uh, this 3 and move it out in front here. So here's the 3. Then I've got the natural log of 6. There's those two together. Then I'll take this one, which would be 6 to the 3x here. And then finally, that gives you a dx right here. So you just rearrange things. So move this 3 out in front, and there they are right here. Now, you need a 6 to the 3x dx. That's this part. You don't need the 3 natural log of x, so move this to the other side. So this will become 1 over 3 times the natural log of 6 du. And on this side, you've still got the 6 to the 3x dx. OK, so now finally, this right here matches up with this up here. So here is your u substitution here. So that's what you're going to substitute. And again, we'll isolate this u substitution part here. So we'll go like this and down to here. So again, what's inside this little box? This was all the work that you did on the u substitution. Okay, now all we'll do is rewrite the function in terms of u.
So that's going to give me um, the integral of 1 over u. And then in here, I'll put what this is equal to, which would be this. 1 over 3 times the natural log of 6. And then you've got du right here. OK, now <clears throat> 1 over 3 natural log of 6 is a constant, so you can bring that outside the integral. So this will become 1 over 3 times the natural log of 6. This will be outside. And you've got the integral of 1 over u du. All right, so that's going to be equal to, again, we'll put the constant first. So 1 over 3 times the natural log of 6. And again, just a reminder, the integral of 1 over u du is equal to this. So the integral of 1 over u du is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of u. So that's going to turn into a natural log. So this will turn into the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. And you're one step away from being done. Your last step is just to replace u with what it's equal to right here. So the final answer is going to be 1 over 3 times the natural log of 6. Then you've got the natural log of the absolute value of, and u is equal to 1 plus 6 to the 3x. And finally, tack on a plus c at the end, and that's going to do it for this problem. So again, this problem, just because you see 6 raised to a power, so you've got some base other than e, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's automatically going to turn into uh, this formula right here. So um, this, the first two examples started out with an integral of a to the x, and they used this formula. On this third example, it, even though it's got a 6 to the 3x power, it turns into, actually turns into this one right here. It turns into an integral of 1 over u problem. So it just strictly depends on the problem when you work them out again. So anyway, be careful on your choices of u, and that's a couple of examples using this new formula.